Hi, it's 4JJ here, and if you're watching this video, you've likely either bought or are thinking of buying our FM INDK44 intake system for MQB platform VAG vehicles. This particular vehicle was equipped with our FM INDK40 prior to this video, but we've retrofitted the stock intake for demonstration purposes. Unlike FM INDK40, the OEM element of the intake that I'm removing here remains in situ when fitting FM INDK44. This part, mates to the alloy filter tray, will take a closer look later in the video. First off, using either a hose clamp removal tool or 7mm socket and suitable drive, undo the OEM or forge inlet hose. If replacing the OEM inlet hose with our Forge Motorsport counterpart, undo the backmost Jubilee clip with a 7mm socket and remove the hose. This hose is not included with FMI and DK44, but can be purchased separately. Next, remove the vacuum hose from the OEM airbox using a sharp, firm motion. Rock the OEM air intake left to right while pulling in an upwards motion to remove it. Please note the coolant hose featured in this video is for FM Iron DK40. Fit the supplied rubber grommets in the alloy filter tray shown. Because he's Polish. He's Polishing. <laughs> If not already done so, fit the provided rubber seal to the alloy intake pipe aperture as shown. If required, cut the cable tie holding the positive battery terminal cable and push back to allow clearance for the alloy filter tray. Install the alloy filter tray as shown, angle the cold air feed side first, then line up the rubber mounting bushes with the locating pegs, then push downwards into position. As mentioned, the frontmost stock element of the intake that mates to the cold air feed side has been removed for the purposes of this video. Ordinarily, this would still be in situ. Slide the longer end of the supplied alloy intake pipe through the aperture and into the OEM intake pipe or Forge Motorsport silicon intake hose, whichever is applicable. If you're using the former, loosen the hose clamp with a hose clamp removal tool or long nose pliers and move back. If using the latter, leave the hose clamp loose to allow for adjustment. With this kit, there is the option of a pleated or foam filter. Select which filter you'd like from the drop down menu on the website. If required, loosen the air filter to alloy intake pipe clamp. Fit the forge filter onto the end of the alloy pipe and secure it into place with the remaining 70 to 90 mm hose clamp. As mentioned, this vehicle has our FM Iron DK40 compatible coolant hose attached and this is fouling the alloy filter tray. This will not be the case with the OE hose as the routing is different. Angle the filter so that it has between 10 to 15 millimeters clearance from the bottom of the filter tray and pay attention to the radiator hose so that nothing is fouling the filter. Continue to adjust as required before using a 7 mm socket and suitable drive, long nose pliers or a hose clamp removal tool to tighten the clamp depending on which inlet hose you have installed. If you've left the vacuum hose attached at one end, you can now remove this using the same method as before. Push the supplied vacuum hose onto the nipple on the alloy intake pipe, feed the rest of it through the hole on the engine side of the heat shield and push it onto the nipple on the engine that you disconnected the OEM vacuum hose from. Feel free to trim the vacuum hose down if required. If you're using the OEM inlet hose, we have supplied a P-clip, bolt, washer and nut. Wrap the P-clip around the alloy intake pipe as shown. Tuck the ends of the P-clip behind the tab provided on the rear of the alloy filter tray as shown, then thread the provided bolt through to hold in place. Using a 5mm Allen key and a 10mm socket or spanner, tighten the bolt. For reference, these are the stock coolant hose mounts. A quick thorough check to make sure everything is tight and FMI and DK44 is now fitted. Improved airflow, improved performance and a great aesthetic addition to the engine bay of your MQB platform vehicle. For more information, please don't hesitate to contact a member of the team.